back. So let's just have a small talk about strings actually because in the right line right here we ended up having two different lines to actually make a new line. Uh, I want to show you something because we can actually make a new line in a different way. So what I'll do is I'll just remove this one right here. You can use uh, different literals inside your code uh, that can actually, if you add a backslash right here, you can actually start adding information in, the, in, in your string that you require. So for instance, if I need a backslash inside a string, I'll write backslash backslash. Now it's actually going to print a backslash right there. If I add a T, it'll actually add a tab in there. So notice the backslash explains to the code that after this backslash, you're actually going to give me some string command that I can use. So what we need is a new line. So I'll put in N. That means actually switching, making a new line. So let me just try and save this and run the program. Now you'll see that before we actually show the menu item, there will be a blank line. But now I just added a backslash N to actually do that instead of the extra console right line that we had before. Hope that makes sense. So what are, what are the things? If I scroll down, I have something here where I make a string that I kind of just add pluses in between. I'm going to try and show you another way of doing the exact same thing, but actually adding parameters instead. So the first thing I do is I add a dollar sign like this. Then I add um, the start quotation for saying that now a string is going to pop up now. And then every time I have a value, I'll just put in a curly bracket like this and a curly bracket end like this. And then I don't need the plus sign anymore. Then this guy comes up. I'll add another guy here because here I'm also going to get a curly bracket start end because that's also a value that I'm pulling from the outside like this. And then I'll just remove the guy right here. We'll wrap it up in here. And there we go. Now we have, you'll notice that all the string part of this that's actually um, red. But this is another way of writing a string and every time we have a parameter, some information that we're getting that's calculated using code, you put in a curly bracket start, curly bracket end, you put in a colon, you put in curly bracket start, curly bracket end, and now we can actually just write it just like we would with code. This is going to be converted into an actual string. Let's try and see if this actually runs and then I'll try above it to show you how it looked before. There we go. Now we have the one colon and the name. One, two colon name. Let me try and put it back to the way it was. So this is how it actually looked before where we had the, the i plus one plus a string plus um, the second parameter right here. Now the plus sign is actually a bit more memory heavy than this guy. So it is actually better in a lot of for a lot of reasons to actually start using the dollar sign instead. And as you get used to this, it's just a lot easier to read as well. So, I just want to show you guys the dollar sign and here the string starts and then we can start adding curly brackets every time we need to put in something that's actually calculated programmatically or variables of some kind. Then we'll just add the text directly in here and I could also just end this by writing I like cake. Uh, not that that would matter right now, but I do. Uh, but I could actually add this just like this, right? So let's try and just run this one more time and you'll see I like cake in the end of each of the lines.